Hey everybody, this is for Vivian Khan. Vivian has been long a powerful opponent of a ballpark at Howard Terminal. And um, she, well, for reasons that I think uh, are mitigable, okay? Um, but she asked me if I'm so thrilled with the prospect of a ballpark at Howard Terminal that I consider buying condo at Phoenix Lofts, I believe she asked. And I would say under normal circumstances, I would consider it, but as I make this vlog, I'm in Fayette County, Georgia. My mom is getting a discount. She is a discount queen um, that she thought she missed. So I'm waiting for her um, and yet still maintaining my place uh, in Oakland as I speak, which I haven't seen in a while, but you know, such is life. Um, so I'm a little tied up right now. <laughs> And um, I would prefer a home on five acres as opposed to a condo at this stage of my life. Now, um, I that could change uh, if my hips don't get any better. My hips are killing me. Probably gonna have to have a hip replacement. Ah, uh, yeah, I said that, yeah. Anyway, hey, by the way, happy birthday, Tom Cruise. Changing the subject. Um, I think Oakland needs to prove, Vivian, that it has the will and the initiative to complete big projects. And I'm sick and tired of this, I call it stalling, tactic that we do as a city, which winds up in nothing getting done. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a 2 million square foot shopping center downtown that should have been built and wasn't, but was stopped because Paul Cobb got 43 community groups together and said, hey, you shouldn't be spending this public money down here when the money is needed elsewhere. And guess what? It would have created thousands of jobs and thousands of opportunities for small businesses, uh, some of whom were black, particularly at that time in Oakland when there were more Af folks that looked like me in Oakland. Uh, I can tick it off the number of examples of development projects that have been stopped because someone felt that there was a racial imbalance and we never corrected the economic investment and what investment we did have was privately done by someone white for a clientele that was white, all right? Well, whenever it has to do with a public expenditure for something that can benefit us, like Howard Terminal in this instance, guess what? Someone wants to stop it. This is a bit, this is several generations going on. All right, I've had it. And it winds up in a loser mentality for my city that I am sick and tired of. And I'm the person who came to within eight NFL votes of bringing the 2005 Super Bowl to Oakland when no one, no one in the city council gave me a chance to do it. Then District 1 Oakland Council Mayor Jane Bruner personally told me on the 16th of September, 1999, as I'm walking through the uh, food court of city center plaza, hey, we didn't think you were gonna get this far. I did. So, and I'm tired. I am sick and tired. I've been sick and tired for several generations and it's just gotten worse. At some point, you gotta say enough's enough. Enough is enough. Sorry, Vivian, that's where I'm at. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.